in continuation from our example yesterday, uh, we are done with a connection of weld that involves the analysis of its allowable strength and design strength together with the difference of computing the uh, effective net area between bolted and welded connections. So, alam na rin natin paano mag-solve ng effective net area involving welded connections. This time, how about if we're going to consider as well the block shear strength on both allowable and design strength. So, ASD and LRFD ulit, again, considering block shear. So, this is now example number 11 for steel design. You're now asked to determine the LRFD, design block shear strength, and the ASD, allowable block shear strength of the uh, welded connection shown below. So, this is just a simple lap joint as shown in the figure below. All steel, either the gusset or the uh, lapping uh, plate, is an A36 steel which has a stress capacity yielding yielding stress capacity of 248 megapascal and an ultimate stress capacity of 400 megapascal as it was said yesterday whenever we are computing the uh, net area of a bolted connection we always tend to subtract the net reduction area with the gross area determining later on all possible ruptures either for rupture strength or block shear strength but this time again if it involves welded connection simply we just have to remove the net reduction area making the gross area as equal now to the net area okay so ganun din when it comes to block shear so sabi natin kahapon Pagdating sa welded connection, kung nasaan yung ating section of welding or line of welding such as in this figure, doon lang mangyayari yung kinatawag nating rupture. And with this particular case or with this example, show, shown here that we have a full weld or, or all around weld. So most likely, pati yung likod merong welding okay so kung all around weld the block shear on this particular example or in this particular welding connection will only happen along this path but note yung block ay hindi manggagaling sa steel plate but instead the block will come from the gusset Plate. So, ano yung itsura nun pag gagawin natin yung block shear? The block shear now will look like this. Following the path of weld connection. Okay. So the block here will look like this. Okay? So, yung block na tinutukoy natin ngayon pagdating sa welding connection will be in terms to the uh, section larger than with the uh, member subjected to the tensile force. So, kung ano yung mas malaki sa kanilang dalawa, doon yung block shear. Doon natin kukunin yung block shear. So, yung section na mas malaki will come from the uh, gusset plate. So, doon manggagaling yung ating block shear and also following the uh, path of welding connection which is on this example 100 mm another 100 mm and the uh, tensile section is 250 mm just like what we did with bolted connection we need to determine all the uh, gross area on shear 
the net area for shear rupture, the net area on tensile rupture, and the gross area with tensile rupture. So again, sabi natin before, pagpababa, that is tensile rupture. Okay? Then, pag horizontal, that is shear rupture. At dahil nga, full weld all around, as you can see, ito yung ating block shear. Which is this uh, figure. So, from there, again, as I've said, ito yung ating shear rupture, taas at baba. So, dalawa yung ating shear rupture. Then, dalawa rin yung gross shear. Then, dalawa rin yung net shear area. Then, this will be your net tensile area. Okay? Then, everything, just like what, this, what, this, uh, what we have discussed before under block shear, will just remain the same. Tatanggalin lang natin yung net reduction area. Okay? Remember the formula of our block shear. Remember, block shear tells us that the required nominal strength involving block shear is simply equal to the nominal block shear minimum should be less than equal to the nominal block shear strength maximum. When the nominal block shear strength minimum is greater than the maximum, therefore, we should adopt the maximum value. But if indeed minimum block shear strength is less than the maximum, adopt the minimum block shear strength as your required block shear strength. Solving or uh, generating the formula of minimum block shear strength, again, that is 0.6 of Fu A and V plus the uniformity, uh, the tensile uniformity, UBS, times Fu A and T. Should be less than equal your maximum block shear strength of 0.6 Fy AGV plus UBS Fu A and T. Right? Yan ba yung formula natin before? Tama ba? Tama? Tama. Right? Yan ba? Tama? Baka nagkamali ako ng sinulat. Tama po, sir. Okay. So, with that, it was given the problem that we should be using an A36 steel, which has an FY of 248 and FU of 400 megapascal. Knowing those two values, meron na tayong FU and FY. What we need to determine now is the, your UBS, which is a constant, your AGV, and uh, your ANV, and lastly, your ANT. Alright? First things first is your tensile uniformity. So, as shown in this given example, just like our consideration with bolted connection, it is simply a lap joint welded connection. Hindi siya cope beam, hindi siya splicing or whatnot. Walang special configuration or consideration with the connection. It is simply a welded lap joint. So, ano ang ating UBS or unif tensile uniformity value? 1 or 0.5? Dalawa lang naman yun. Anong UBS? Hello? Anong gagamitin kong UBS value? Hello? One. Okay. One. Okay? Then we have your AGV. And ulit si AGV, that is simply your gross shear area. Gross shear area. Hanapin natin on the given figure or the resulting block shear figure, ano yung ating shear rupture. Saan natin kukunin yung shear rupture? Yung vertical or yung horizontal? 
kasabi lang kanina. Oh, ito yung resulting block shear. Okay, yung horizontal. So again, ito yung ating shear rupture. And doon din sa taas yung ating isa pa na shear rupture. Given that they have the same section and thickness, as I've said, the block shear will happen on the gusset plate. So ang gagawin natin for us to compute the gross area of the shear rupture, simply multiply the length of the shear rupture, which is 100, then another 100, with the thickness of the gusset plate. So, ang thickness ng gusset plate is uh, what? Anong thickness ng gusset plate? O, oh, nasa figure na lang. 10 mm. So, do not forget that pag welded connection, mas sa mas malaking section manggagaling yung block shear. Then, doon natin titignan yung thickness. But, if the member is somewhat greater, uh, section is greater than the uh, gusset plate, of course, the block shear will come from the uh, member subjected to tensile force. So, with this, 100 times 10, taas at baba yung ating shear rupture. Taas at saka baba. So, dalawa yung shear rupture of the same section. So, simply multiply this with 2. That is 2,000 millimeters square. Okay? Nakuha yan? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Yellow. Yes, po, sir. Sigurado? Okay. So, kung meron na tayong AGV, again, what's next is your A and V. So, anong nangyari sa A and V? Anong gagawin natin sa A and V? That is your net shear area. Meron bang bolt hole? Wala. Walang net reduction area. So, kung ano yung shear plane, no, uh, shear rupture ng AGV, yun din yung shear uh, rupture ng A and V. Wala na, ta wala na tayong ibabawas dyan na bolt hole. So, as I've said, tanggalin lang si net reduction Simply, AGV is equal to ANV, which is also 2,000 mm square. The next will be your A and T, or your net tensile rupture. So, sabi natin, net tensile rupture is the vertical path of failure. Okay? So, vertical path of rupture. So, basically, walang bolt hole, wala ring iba pang uh, set of rupture. And simply the uh, plane of the section. So that is also your AGT. Tanggalin si net reduction. That is simply 250 mm. Okay. Ano ba yan? Ito. Okay. Times thickness of the gusset plate. 10 mm. That is 2,500 millimeters square. Nakuha yan? Okay. Computing the R minimum or the RN minimum or minimum block shear strength which is again based on our formula 0.6 of FU, A and V plus UBS, FU, A and T. RN minimum, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 of FU, which is 400 megapascal for A36, times A and V, 2,000 millimeters square, plus UBS, which is 1, and FU of 400 millimeters square. And lastly, your A and T or the net tensile area which is 2,500 millimeters square. So, ano yung RN minimum? Sir, 482901. 482901.
Tama nga? Zero one. Yes po, sir. O, oh, yung iba dyan, mag-compute. Para masundan ninyo yung solution. Okay? Then, we need to compare that again with your Rn maximum. Our Rn maximum has the formula of 0.6 FYAGV plus UBS FUANT. So, direct substitute. All values were already been identified. So, 0.6 FY of A36 is 248 megapascal. AGV is 2000 millimeter square. Uh, one for ano daw? Ano ba talaga? Ano yung RN minimum? One Sir, eight? one minimum. 480,000 po. One for 80,000. Tama? Yan? Apat na zero? Yes po, sir. Okay. Then... Sa RN max plus UBS of 1 plus FU 400 megapascal times ANT of 2,500 millimeter square. RN maximum is equal to? One two nine seven six zero zero newton. Okay. Compare those two values, Rn minimum and Rn maximum. So, anong gagamitin nating uh, uh, nominal block shear strength? Yung minimum or yung maximum? Okay, so we are going to use the maximum nominal block shear strength dahil nga mas malaki yung minimum. So this will serve as our nominal block shear strength. Okay, so from there we can now compute the allowable block shear strength in terms to ASD and the design block shear strength in terms to LRFD. So, allowable block shear strength should be equal to the adopted nominal block shear strength over the factor of safety involving block shear. Rn was 1297600. Ano yung ating factor of safety? Two. Oh, so, divided by 2, ano yung ating allowable block shear strength? Ano? Ilan? Ilan? Saan na? Sir, 648800 po. Newton. Okay. So, yan na yung ating allowable block shear strength. Okay, then of course, next one will be your LRFD. Under LRFD, the ultimate strength or the design strength is simply equal to the adopted nominal block shear strength times the resistance factor of block shear strength. Any resistance factor? Point seventy five po. Then times the adopted RN one two nine seven six zero zero. So ilan yan? Nine seven three two hundred po. Newton. Okay. So again, this will serve as R answer for the uh, design block shear strength under 
LRFD. Ayan lang yan, oh, ang ikli ng solution. Napakadali. Though, hindi ko in-include sa notes or dito sa sinulat natin yung ibang instruction, but uh, napakadali lang. Oh. Kung mas malaki yung pagkakabitan, doon manggagaling yung block shear. Okay? Kung mas malaki yung member na i-weld, of course, the block shear will happen on the member subjected to actual tensile force. But with this case, the member has a smaller section than with the gusset plate. So as you can see, the block shear happens on the block I on the uh, gusset plate. Concern natin later on is the thickness. Okay? So kung mas malaki yung section ng ating plate or ng ating member, so of course you'll have to multiply that with the thickness of the plate. But again, with this case, mas malaki yung gusset plate with the plate. Question. Question. Kuha yan. 